Hi everyone, my name is Travis and I'm going to walk you through Audible. Most, if not all of you, have heard of Audible. I want to talk through the tool because everyone's at a different point with Audible and I want to highlight why it's a great tool for professional development and some of the features that you might not be aware of. So to start, my name is not Matt, but that's part of the cool part that I like about Audible. I use Audible so much personally that I have two different Audible accounts. One I share with my best friend Matt and the other one I share with my wife. So I have a different type of, I have different types of titles on the different accounts depending on what they want to overlap. So if you have another friend that has a similar interest, it might be worth doing. So to start, why go into Audible? I love it, especially now that it's an Amazon company, it makes everything really secure, one sign-on and really simple. Anybody that wants to come over and try Audible gets a discount if they are an Amazon Prime member. Additionally, when you're looking at purchasing books, which can get expensive sometimes, I wanted to highlight one of the books from our program, Work Rules. You can see here that to get it off Amazon hardcover it would be $25 cheaper for Kindle, and then Audible is one credit. So what does one credit mean? On the account that I have with Matt, it is $9.56 per credit, which makes it a lot cheaper to buy on Audible than it is to buy on the other formats. So as you can see here, they have an entire library and section dedicated to business and careers. And then you can take those titles and then you can categorize them. I wanted to point out here before we move into that professional development collection that Audible has started offering podcasts. Though I would recommend if you are more into podcasts to use Overcast, which has a much more extensive collection of podcasts as an app. So under collection here, I made one titled Professional Development with a number of the titles from this program and other ones that I've listened to. So this can be a great way to sort and find these, and then you can download them on any device that you want. Additionally, I wanted to point out that Audible is now partnered with Waze. So now while you are driving, you can just open up the Waze app instead of Audible and listen directly from Waze while you're getting your navigation direction. This kind of gets into the other reason that I really like to use Audible. I think it is a great way to fill the space between. What do I mean by that? A lot of us are too busy to read, but you can listen to audiobooks while you're working out, while you're going for a walk, while you're making dinner, traveling to and from work. Personally, I even set up a cheap shower speaker so that I can just have it in the bathroom while I'm getting ready in the morning. I didn't think that that would add up to a ton of time, but I'm gonna transition over to the app now and show you with my shared account with Matt over the last few years, just how much time we've spent within Audible. Since Matt and I started this account, we have logged over seven months of listening time to different titles. And for us, we have over 268 Audible titles. I don't expect the average person to do that, but it is amazing once you get hooked, and I would definitely encourage you guys to dig deeper into Audible. One of the things that Audible has changed recently that I really like is now you can not only search within the app, but you can also buy directly from the app before you had to go back to the website. So this is nice. So now whether you want to browse anything within Audible, you can purchase it directly from here. And if it hasn't been released yet, you can put it as a pre-order so that it will automatically be downloaded to your library as soon as it's released. Here as well, you can see podcasts, which we highlighted earlier. And then one of the other things that I think is neat that maybe not a lot of people know about is I'm going back through and rereading work rules, which we read earlier. And I wanted to point out that there is a way that you can clip uh, and bookmark. So for people that say, well, if I listen to that, I wouldn't know where to go back to in the book because I could just put a bookmark in a physical book. So this is a digital way you can do that and have those clips set up so that you can do it. Uh, we talked about car mode with Waze. If you want to use car mode for Audible, uh, it's pretty neat. You just click on this little car in the upper right hand corner 
and it takes you to a very simplified view that just shows you the title going back 30 seconds and the bottom right icon is to do clips for bookmarks. Another feature to highlight that might differentiate Audible for some people who say, I just want the book, you're missing some of the context for the book, is this took me quite a while to figure out, but a lot of books have an accompanying PDF. And as they go through the book, they will reference the pages that these are on so that you can find and look at the appropriate pictures and figures that go along with what they're talking about as they go through the audiobook. So hopefully for some of you who are using Audible, this feature, being aware of it, can help you get more out of the books that you choose to listen to with Audible. Another thing that can save people a lot of time within Audible, especially for professional development books, is down in the bottom left you can see speed. So you can adjust this, and it's not the clunky YouTube speed where it just has two times, five times. This has a lot of different increments for the speed. So depending on the narration of your author, you can go through quicker and get there faster. There's also sleep. So for those of you that say every time I listen to an audiobook, I fall asleep, you can actually set that so that if you want to fall asleep to a professional development book or work of fiction at the end of the night, you can. These are some of the reasons why I love using Audible, and I hope you learn something from this and can help take away and then add to your professional development career with Audible because we're all so busy, especially with COVID and work life lines blurring. So I would encourage you to find new ways to get out there, explore and do professional development. I think Audible is a great way to do that.